Speaking of documenting things, yes, you uh, uh, have been going through like so much, uh, and it's amazing how much you're doing based on how much you've been through. You know, of course, uh, you know the world knows that your mom uh, still going through the still going through brain cancer, mm-hmm. right? And that's something that you and Kevin and everybody around you has been working on and working with her tirelessly mm-hmm. for how long now? Uh, it's going to be three years in August. That's incredible. Yeah. God, God, I, thankfully, has yeah. given us a lot of time. And at the same time, what, a year ago, maybe a little more? A year and a half. A year and a half ago, yeah. you find out that you have a brain tumor mm-hmm. and have to get it removed and go through. So while you're working with your mom going through brain cancer, you have to have brain surgery mm-hmm. to have a tumor removed. And oh, by the way, you're doing everything else yeah. that you do just to try to stay afloat, right? <laughs> um, and you guys are doing a documentary, is that right? Yeah, well, I was filming every step of the way. So just to have it. Just to have it. You know, the second I got diagnosed, um, I flipped the camera on me and Kevin. We were in Mexico in a parking lot, and so I you're just, on vacation. No, we had taken my mom in for treatment. We were taking her to alternative treatments because they said her tumor was growing. I see. And I found out once I had checked checked them in, it was a really really bad time. Obviously, when you find out that this tumor is growing, uh, it was really scary. And then, of course, my doctor was like, "I don't know how to tell you this, but you have one too." And so I flipped the camera on us and did like a confessional. And then from there, I kept filming everything, different things along the way, doctor appointments and such, and mainly so that I could remember how I was acting, how I felt, um, because it's easy to like kind of um, change the story later. Like I, I wanted right. to remember how I handled it, right? And that was really important to me, and and what I was thinking and stuff, and because my my life moves so fast, I forget totally. So I document everything anyway. And so when I was recovering from surgery, our CTO at After Buzz and Kevin strung all the footage together because I had a lot of it. And I had a lot of footage of my mom as well. And it was a little doc. And so I ended up uh, connecting with Joe Berlinger, the goat of documentaries. Absolutely. Who did Tony Robbins' most recent one. Um, uh, was it the... Uh, I am not your I'm guru. I'm not your guru, yep. And I mean, he's done a ton of them. everything. He's I mean, he incredible. Just did the Ted Bundy stuff. Yeah. And Didn't he do the West Memphis Three? Yes. Yeah. I mean, he's brilliant. So I just had dinner with him to ask him some advice, and then I started telling him my story of what I'd been going through, and um, he was like, "I, I, I want to work on this." And so um, he was a little busy with Ted Bundy at the time. So now we're we're connecting, and we're gonna figure out um, how to take it from where it is and. I don't want it to just be about, you know, oh, she had a brain tumor. Everybody knows that. We all know we've that what we've been going through. But I want to show people kind of what gets you there. Mm. And I think it's more of like a message to women. That was Kevin who had just this brilliant idea. He goes, Maria, every speech you're going out and talking to women, you're telling them all of these things that they need to hear. Do it in the dock so that everybody can hear it. You know, we're, as women, we're everything to everyone and nothing to ourselves. We are... So type A, we have to make sure we get the flowers to somebody on their birthday. We got to make sure we, you know, plan the vacation. We're in charge of like everything. Yeah. And then on top of it, we have to make sure our hair is dyed and our nails are done and we look amazing and somehow we can't age. And there's a lot of anxiety and there's a lot that goes into being a woman. Um, And we have to be perfect and we have to balance it all. No one ever asks a guy, how do they balance it all? Mm -mm. They ask women every single day plus when people go how do you balance it all i go i have my wife do most of the stuff yeah <laughs> you know and that's 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 the way you do it yeah you yeah. guys just and it's just a different thing and so i want to kind of show women and people in general the new life perspectives i've had the changes that i've made in my life so that i can live a happier healthier life i want people to focus on their health more and to realize that um, you can do a lot for a while. Mm-hmm. It eventually will catch up with you. Want more Jim and Sam? Catch up with full episodes and interviews from celebrity guests anytime on demand using the SiriusXM app.